Welcome to EC Elimu, Learning Simplified, and welcome to this lesson. In this video, we are going to discuss few experiments which we can use to demonstrate that light travels in a straight line. Here, we are going to consider two setups. One, we are going to use three cardboards with a candle wax as a source of light. Then we are going to consider another one where we will use a candle wax as a source of light and a straight uh, pipe. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy this video. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe an experiment which you can perform to prove that light experiences a property which we call electrolinear propagation of light in which light travels in a straight line. We have different setups that can be used to demonstrate that light travels in a straight line. However, it's important to note that some of these setups are natural, like a good example is the formation of eclipses. Eclipses are formed when the earth comes in between the moon and the sun, and another one can be formed when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth as we are going to discuss later. However, some can be performed in the laboratory, and those which can be performed in a laboratory are like when using cardboards with holes. Then we have another one when we use a straight pipe with a candle wax as a source of light. We are going to perform these two in this lesson. Then we have formation of shadows, which we are going to discuss in our next lesson. Then formation of eclipses, we have discussed them in geography. We are also going to discuss them here. However, in geography, you just mentioned them and you saw how they are formed. But in this case, we are going to see how light take part in the formation of those eclipses. And then finally, we will look at the last proof that light travels in a straight line in the formation of images in a pinhole camera. Remember, the proof that I've listed here, all of them are used to prove that light travels in a straight line. So the first experiment that you can perform to demonstrate rectilinear propagation of light or light traveling in a straight line is using cardboards and a source of light. So in this case, the apparatus that you will need the apparatus that you might need is three cardboards. You must have three cardboards. Then you need a source of light, source of light like a candle wax. Then you need a thread. Then finally, you need a pin. And then what you do, you take the three cardboards, like this one here. These are the three cardboards of the same length. That's the first one second one and the third one, second and the third. You position them like that, and then you take a pin and make a hole at the same height. So this pin, its function will be to make a hole, and the hole should be uniform, made by a single a pin. Then now what you do, if you position these uh, cardboards upright, since they are at the same height, the hole is at the same height, and they are of the same height, then what you are going to realize if you position them on a flat table, this is a flat table, you position them on a flat table in such a way that they are slightly far away from each other, then the first cardboard will look like this. This is the first cardboard, will have a hole there. I'm going to draw the cross section part of this cardboard, so it will have a hole there. This is the first one. Then the second cardboard, it, it they have the same height. The hole is at the same height. If you position it, it will, it will also have its hole like that. This is the second cardboard. Then the third cardboard, you position it slightly far away from the second cardboard so that the hole is also uniform. In this case, like that. Like that. So that is the third cardboard. Then now, what you do to make sure that the hole is at the same height, 
you will take the thread that we had here as an operator and place it inside that hole it should go through this is a thread this is your thread it should go through the holes without being bent then now in that case you have proved that your holes are at the same height then now what you do you will uh, remove the thread you will remove this thread and then position the candle wax at one end let's say this end here you will put your candle wax at that point so this is the flame of the candle wax let me label it it's a candle wax this one will be the source of your light remember this is a, a cardboard three so you will position your candle wax in such a way that the flame is in line with the cardboard then now what you do you will observe that candle wax from this end here this should be your eye so if this is your eye what you will realize if you look at this hole you will be able to see the candle wax on the other end of the past the third cardboard now in that case if you see the, the the flame then it means light from the flame has reached your eye so in that case light has traveled in that straight line from the candle wax through the pin holes on that on those cardboards to your eye and then what you do next you will now displace the first or the second cardboard this cardboard which is in between here you will come and displace it displace it in a way that one part or you raise it up in such a way that now the holes are not in the same line the holes will not be in the same line so just lift it up slightly that is displacing it so that its hole now goes up there and then where the two holes are in line it's not now in line and the cardboard you have just raised it up from where it was initially to where now a new position so in this case if you put your thread inside here the thread will not be in a straight line the thread will be moving like this so in this case the holes are not in a straight line so you remove your thread then after removing your thread then what you do you keep the candle in the same position and then try to observe from this end where the eye is so what you will realize is that you will not see the candle wax so what does that mean light cannot travel and make this corner so if light would have make would travel in corners it would have made from this source it will come make a corner and then come to your eye but since light cannot do that then it means if you can't see the the candle wax it means light cannot travel along corners but if you return it back to its original position you will be able to see the candle wax then it means light can only travel when the holes are in a straight line and that one now will prove that light travels in a straight line so we can perform another experiment to prove that light travels in a straight line and the apparatus you need in this case you only need two apparatus the first one is a straight pipe straight pipe pipe but this pipe should be flexible flexible such that you can change its shape you can bend it when you want then you need a source of light source of light so now what you do first you will take your cut your your pipe so you will take your pipe which is straight like this one here a straight pipe with a uniform a diameter then you place a candle at one end like in this case you take a candle and place the flame at one end of that pipe this is a candle here candle you place the flame at one end of that pipe and then now you you will observe from this end then what you will realize when you observe from this end you will be able to see the flame on the other end this means light from this flame will travel inside this pipe 
into your eye in a straight line and you will be able to see the, the, the light or the flame of that candle wax. So in this case, when the pipe is in a straight line, you will be able to see that flame. You will even see the color of the flame as a yellow flame. Then now what you do next, this is the setup one. For you now to prove that light cannot travel along corners, then what you do, you take the same pipe, but now you bend it. So you take the pipe like this one, you now you bend it like that. It's flexible, you just bend it like that. Then now, what you do, this pipe, what you do, you will put your flame here, you will put the flame of your candle wax here at the one end of that pipe. Then now you will observe from this end. You will observe from this end here. This is your eye. You will observe into this pipe from this end. This is the eye. This is the eye. So when you observe in this case, you will not be able to see the flame. Here you will observe that you can't be able to see the flame because this light from the flame can only come up to this end here. Now, what you will only see is you will see some light at the end of this pipe, but the rest of this pipe here will be total darkness. Light will not come to this end. So what does that mean? The light cannot make a corner. If it was to make a corner, it would have come, it finds this pipe bent, then it comes to your eye. But since light cannot do that, then it means light cannot travel along corners. But in the first case here, you realize that when the pipe is straight, you can see the flame of the candle wax. So it means light can only travel, light can only travel, travel in a straight line, a straight line. So that is what you can conclude from this case. And then in the second case, light cannot travel along corners. So if light cannot travel along corners, then it means light can only travel in a straight line. And in this topic, we were proving that light only travels in a straight line. So using a pipe, a straight pipe, pipe which is thick, which is uh, flexible, you can observe a flame at the other end, you will see it. If you bend the pipe, the pipe, you can't be able to see the flame on the other end. So that proves that light travels in a straight line. So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss shadows as a proof that light travels in a straight line.